evening. So I hope I'm not the only one who's um, not excited about Game of Thrones today. And I've got a lesson here because I've tried to watch it and tried to get in with it. Almost because everyone else is. It seems like anyway. Everyone's talking about it. Don't spoil it. I'm not going to spoil it because I haven't got a clue. Hi, Julie. Are you watching Game of Thrones? Everyone else is. But what I want to bring up is you can take a lot from this because I've tried to watch it and get in with the conversations at the moment. And I've also tried to um, watch like a catch up on going through the plot and everything because I have no idea what's going on. I'm watching it. I'm just like, what's going on? Why can't I like it? And my point here is we do the same thing with fitness, nutrition, getting in shape, whether we want to lose X amount by this time. And sometimes it's not because we want to. We just think that we ought to. And there's a key thing with there because I'll say that you'll never have the leverage, the motivation, the willpower to get the results to to. Because the process is going to keep you going, not really the outcome. You know, I'd love to say that, you know, getting the conversations, yeah, Game of Thrones, new series, but I just can't get into it. My point is that if you're setting a goal and it's because you think you ought to do it rather than you want to, so you're missing the fun element, you're missing the fact you're going to enjoy the process and actually do something for you that means something to you because you've got to have a why there you've got to have an environment there that will set you up to win if you're doing something that's based on other people's expectations be it the biggest loser you know where you're just setting yourself up for fail because they lost x amount in x amount of time but they exercise 10 hours a day ate nothing that's the state of the nutrition industry right now which is ridiculous and annoying but there's nothing you can do about it apart from just understand that detox diets, all these things that set these expectations where if we're not losing like two pounds every week in a linear fashion, we're annoyed. Or if we're not running X amount or doing a push-up by this time or whatever it is, then we're failing. When actually, when you compare you versus you, where you were last week and just aim to be a little bit better and enjoy the journey along the way, you'll get way better results. Just wanted to share that as um, just... Game of Thrones, just, I'm on my own because Game of Thrones is um, married to my wife. Anyway, just thought I'd share that and um, <clears throat> yeah, any questions let me know. Four week kickstart programme starting next week after Easter, Burbage, Marlborough, any more details let me know. We start from Tuesday next week, give you the bank holiday. Have a good evening, take care and speak soon.